Hello everyone. Glad you guys could all make it. So let's go a little bit more in depth about the latest painting called Helios. So, um, not sure if you guys know much about the Greek myths. Um, anyway, so this one is about Helios. And for those who didn't know, Helios was a Greek titan or Greek god and his job was basically to carry the sun across the sky with his chariot of horses. But with that known, the pain I want to concentrate was a brief moment in his life which involved a love triangle, which is of course my favorite, and uh, it involved a mortal princess named Leucotho and an ocean nymph named Clotai. And the painting takes place right after him and Aphrodite were basically at war with each other and, uh, and about the trials of all of what she did to him and what happened to it. And, of course, like any other Greek myth, it's tragic and it, it affects mankind. Why would it not? Anyway, I'm going to step out of the way. That way you guys can have a closer view of the painting. And I will um, kind of give you guys and talk to you guys about it and all that stuff. And if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe button. Because, let's face it, we all need more subscriptions in our life. Alright guys, I love you. Okay, so here's an overview of the painting. And for this moment... I'm going to be discussing the right side of the painting. And now was time for Aphrodite to put her plan into motion. So she made Helios fall in love with a beautiful mortal princess named Leucotho. And of course, forget about his former lover, the ocean nymph Clotai. And as you can very much imagine, this did not make Clotai very happy. She was quite angry and very bitter about it, actually. So she went to uh, Leucotho's father, Orchimus, and told him all about this affair. And, of course, he was outraged by it. So what did he do? He took poor Leucotho and buried her alive in the earth. And, sadly, Helios was too late to uh, rescue her, or to revive her, actually. So what he did is he poured nectar into the earth, and turned her into a boswellia tree so she could breathe the air once again. Now, the fascinating thing about a boswellia tree is that's where we get frankincense from. So, and what's even cooler than that, the way you harvest frankincense is basically you take a spike or you cut into the tree to let the sap or the rosin flow out of it during the day. And then at night, it will crystallize and you come back the next morning to uh, scrape it off and then you can melt that down or grind it down and that's how we get frankincense from. Okay, let's take a look at the left side of the painting now. Okay, so Clyte um, had hoped that this would bring Helios back to her. Well, Sadly, however, it did not because he was so angry by uh, the role that she had played in his great love's death that he really wanted nothing to do with her. So he just went on his way, turned his back on her and never looked at her again. So, of course, Clyde, who was still very much in love with him, was, you know, upset by this. So... She, uh, well, she stripped herself naked, sat on a rock, and accepted no food or drink for uh, nine days. Well, um, eventually her form started to change, and uh, she changed into a purple flower known as the heliotrope. Which, what's fascinating about the heliotrope is that it focuses on the sun. And so what she would do is she would track her love's positioning to the sky, just pining and hoping that uh, one day he would turn and look at her. But uh, sadly, he, he never did. And I guess what the tragic part of it is, is that, you know, her form had changed from what it once was, but her love still to this day remains unchanged. And that's why the heliotrope flower will track the movements of the sun. And that is the painting Helios. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I hope that uh, you were just a little bit more educated than you were before. And I hope my art has touched you in a way that uh, you enjoyed being touched. And 
Wow, that sounded creepy. And on that note, I think I'm going to wrap this one up and uh, start on the next painting. So stay tuned because after Helios, I'm actually painting um, Helios' sister, Selene, which is the goddess of the moon. So you're going to have to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification so you can get the notifications of when it comes out. All right, guys. Love you. Bye-bye.